you're here in front of a very interesting painting and uh, this uh, piece uh, I don't like it in any other way whenever I look at it there's nothing about this piece that I like but I really love this piece and you might wondering saying this is so strange let me describe to you about this painting that you see this uh, emerald green painting it's a very ordinary painting and by the way this is my uh, favorite tree this the olive tree um, when I eat the fresh olive in Fran in France I really love it fall in love with the olive so uh, that's why I bought it so here I record in the darkest of the night uh, this is uh, the moment that I finished this piece uh, this one has three layers the first one being the raw canvas and I wrote the uh, holy teaching with um, charcoal on raw canvas in Bulgarian uh, so I cover about 50% of the painting with the Buddha teaching in charcoal and then the inspiration come that I want to paint and that's the reason why I did not cover the entire raw canvas with the holy teaching in charcoal so I did about 50% in charcoal and then I cover the whole uh, canvas with this titanium buff color or in the interior design painting house paint you call this color the eggshell so I covered the whole thing with the eggshell over the raw canvas and the charcoal uh, writing I cover it with um, a very thick one gallon of the eggshell egg uh, interior paint house paint and then I wrote the entire thing again the Buddha teaching in Bulgarian this time I did a very interesting one uh, I got the inspiration from the Bible and uh, I remember uh, a very significant uh, when I read the Bible it say that in the beginning there were there were uh, there was a word and that word is God so I trans uh, so I begin this painting with the word God in Bulgarian so it's called bog b-o-g so in Bulgarian it's called bog meaning God so I began the holy teaching with the word God and this time around I wrote the whole uh, cover the whole canvas in Bulgarian holy teaching in acrylic golden acrylic paint and I cover everything and I really like it because it's very colorful it show a lot of effort uh, but my painting technique it's all about um, lower oneself being humble so I erased the whole canvas originally I want to cover the whole thing in green uh, why did I start with green because when I paint a picture I don't rely on my imagination creativity or from my own ideas I always uh, consult with heaven uh, by going to random color of paint that people throw away people don't like uh, so I get the bucket of paint and I just go in and said you know heaven please guide me whatever I land my hand on I'll pick that paint so I pick out this emerald green and I just pour over the entire thing I want uh, in t the my intention was to cover the entire thing uh, but then I said you know what the Bible said that from the beginning there was the word and that word is God so in the end when I destroy the whole painting I want to return back to God so it is uh, a metaphor for our physical body we have the body we have the mind and we have the spirit the spirit our spirit is the oneness with God so the reason our spirit the God within has been covered is because there's a lot of layer that we put upon ourselves so in order to diminish all of this layer 
diminish all of the negativity from our mind, from our body, to diminish uh, all of the things that cover the Buddha nature, this God within. So I erased the whole painting to return back to the oneness, and that is return back to the origin, that is the word God. From the beginning, there was the word, and that word is God. <clears throat> and what is uh, this whole painting? Uh, and why did I don't like every bit of it? Because from the element and principle art that we learn uh, in the academic, this is the worst painting in the history of painting. Because there's no composition, there's no color, uh, there's no interestingness. Uh, it is just a piece of mess, a raw canvas. Uh, I remember when I uh, poured the first layer of the eggshell interior paint. Uh, I want to leave the raw canvas to show the process. And my father, he went to the garden and he come back. Even though he don't have a sense of painting, but uh, he know what a good painting look like, and he went and he said, "You know this painting is really bad. This painting is horrible. You cover everything and then you leave the the edge of the canvas that it's uneven and it showed the dirtiness of the charcoal that is rough on the canvas." And he took the um, the squeegee. He took my squeegee and he started to take because remember I pour a one gallon of paint on on this, so he took the squeegee and he covered every inches. Uh, he trying to cover to the edge of the painting to make it neat and beautiful, and then I come back and I, I saw him do that. I said, "Wait a minute, don't do that, don't do that," because that give the process, that give the. Uh, uh, complexity that give the interestingness uh, for what God's sake I trying to uh, make the painting the worst painting ever but by making it look worse somehow I don't know I like something that come from that uh, ugliness from that poor decision from that uh, mistake but um, so I stop him from correcting the painting. I stop him from make the painting look beautiful uh, because I like the rawness, the rough, uh, the ugliness. <clears throat> so appreciate the natural, appreciate the reality, to appreciate uh, what has been uh, destined by heaven. So that's the reason why um, I leave the, the painting like that. Uh, and then, uh, of course, when we analyze from the academic, this painting is really bad. The edge is rough, the edge is bad, poorly paint, and it's not even considered painting. It is considered someone who is so lazy, they dump a whole bucket of paint in there. Someone who has no uh, intention, someone who has no uh, life to it. And they just, you know, trying to get rid of their day, trying to diminish something trying to get rid of some house paint or something and they just cover the entire thing so this painting from edge to edge nothing is good about this painting uh, but <clears throat> and then uh, when I leave it out in the backyard to dry uh, you know of course uh, we have a lot of car here and the car uh, someone back out and they back into a puddle of paint and we have a car tire on the paint and uh, you know, for an ordinary point of view, uh, it get it can be more disaster risk disasterific than this. But it the, this painting getting worse and worse. Um, and but when I saw that, I said, "Thank heaven, thank God, because every effort in life is to contribute to the greatness of this painting." Uh, and what is so great about this painting? When you exhibit this in a gallery setting or on, in the wall uh, of an institution, you're going to see this painting is so bad, but it command, it command the, in, uh, the truthfulness, the sincerity. Uh, it command uh, the raw, pure creativity, uh, a, a true um, collaboration between 
heaven and man. So this painting is a to me is a very powerful painting. Even though I hate every bit of this painting, it drives me crazy. But I love this painting because it is a collaboration between heaven and man, and every effort lead into this painting is from heaven intention. I try to diminish all of my intention as much as possible, even though when I try to make this painting interesting. I did not say, "Oh, I'm gonna make this painting interesting." Uh, I was just literally trying to destroy this painting as much as possible. Maybe you could say that is my intention, but I hold no attachment to this painting at all. Um, but that's basically it. Um, uh, hope that you enjoy this talk, and I want to introduce my snake plant over there. I love plant, and this is my uh, very favorite uh, tree. This is the olive tree, and I keep saying about this olive tree, but uh, it shows how much I attach to it. But I love the color green. It carry from this olive tree. Maybe that's the inspiration. Maybe God said, "Lynx, you make such a, a brown and muddy uh, color. Let uh, brighten up the day and make something more beautiful, uh, more colorful." So that's all I had for, for this. So when you able to hear my message uh, or my word from this painting, uh, hope that you enjoy. Hope that you know it brings some kind of entertainment or you know sorry to waste your time. I don't know. Well, have a fantastic day and thank you for uh, visiting uh, the gallery or the museum. Uh, quote unquote, if it's in the museum. Okay, uh, that's it for now. I have to go to bed.